We're adding two uncommon fruits to our orchard this season, the hardy kiwi and the passion fruit. Both these plants produce large vines that require a substantial trellis system for support. Now there's several types of trellises that can be used, but the T-bar is the best for managing disease as well as handling the fruits. It also is the cheapest to construct and is most accommodating to bee pollination of the flowers. Of course, if you already have an arbor or a pergola in your landscape, you can certainly use this to support the vines as well. Ideally, the rows of the trellis are oriented north to south because this allows maximum sun exposure to all of the plants growing on the trellis. The trellis system consists of posts that support a cross arm and then the fruiting canes are tied to wires that run between the cross arms. We've already set our posts in the ground. We're using four by four cedar posts and these are set two and a half feet into the ground and six feet above. The canes are gonna grow downward towards the ground so we need to have a pretty high trellis. The support posts should be spaced a maximum of 16 to 20 feet apart. We have a 30 foot row, so we've spaced ours 15 feet apart to support our vines. Kiwi plants can produce over 100 pounds of fruit per plant. So this trellis system is gonna be supporting a great amount of weight. We need to anchor our end posts in to help them support that weight. There's several different types of anchors that can be used. We're using an auger style earth anchor to hold the weight. And Kenny's starting these by hammering them straight into the ground. Once we get it in a few inches, we're gonna tilt it and uh, twist it in. The metal rod helps us get the leverage we need to turn the anchor into the ground. Now another style of anchor that we could use is to cut a 4x4 post and use it as a tieback post. It's going to be buried about three feet into the ground and set at an angle leaning away from our support post. Now with either style of anchor, we want to set our anchor in the ground about four feet away from our support post. And we're going to use a double tieback wire. Uh, slide it through a bolt set at the top of our post. We're going to run this to our anchor. Once we have our wires fed through the eye bolt on our post and our anchor, we're going to go ahead and twist it tight using a piece of rebar strung between the two wires, sets of wires and just keep twisting it until it gets tight. And once we get it fully tightened, we're gonna lay the rebar flat along the post. Go ahead and, whoops. And we're gonna tie that in. Secure the rebar using a length of wire. The next step we're gonna do is install the cross arms. Our cross arm is a five foot length of two by four, and we've already cut a notch to fit it at the top of our support. We're gonna go ahead and fit this in. We need to drill a hole through both pieces to fit a carriage bolt for securing it. Ready? Attach the cross arm six feet above the ground using a carriage bolt. We're ready to feed our wires through the trellis system now. We're using a nine gauge galvanized steel wire. And we're also using a device called a wire vise, which will hold our wires in place. This allows us to feed the wire through in one direction and pull it tight, but it won't allow it to slip back. We've already fastened our vices in place and we're feeding the wires through these and pulling them tight. We're not gonna pull them all the way tight until we get all of the wires up. Now a kiwi trellis uses a minimum of three wires, one set at the end of the arms and one in the center. You can also add two more wires halfway between these. Mm -hmm. 
We'll come back and plant our hardy kiwi and our passion fruit after the threat of frost has passed. At that time, we'll discuss how to train the plants as well. You can learn more about growing kiwi fruit from OSU Extension Fact Sheet HLA 6249, Kiwi Fruit Production in Oklahoma. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.